Good evening and welcome back. This time we're at home to Sporting de Gijon who are in third place so it should be a tough match. If you did watch the last one, we had a massive 6-0 win. Great performances all around, Xerxes with a hat-trick and Harrington the youngster just had a, a brilliant match. We did rest a few players in the last match and most of them are back. The only downside being Herrera is actually not in great form in terms of the downward orange. So we're going to bring in Bouget, where somebody hasn't really played before, we'll bring him in centre midfield alongside Vieira. He has played in the attacking midfield role. So just trying him there. But other than that, pretty much our standard lineup. And this is the last match in December. We will be looking at some of the stats for the matches we've played so far, as soon as it goes into January. We'll also see an influx of players, well not an influx, an outflux of players, I don't know if that's a word. But yeah, lots of our players will be going, we'll have a look to see how much budget we've got to spend, mainly in terms of salary, that's the sort of key one we're lacking in. You know, can we buy by maybe one or two decent players, or are we going to have to just look at purely youth squad for now, just to fill out you know, some key areas that we need some rotation in. But yeah, be interesting to see who's been the sort of top assisters and scorers in this month. I'm guessing, uh, well, Xerxes is going to be right up there. He just hit a hat-trick in the last match. Bajer's certainly going to be up there with assists, I would think. Vieira will no doubt be one of our best performers, maybe in terms of dribbling or possession. Um, that was not a good pass by Bajer there. Good tackle. That's not a foul. Shut up. That is just... Nah, got the ball there. Don't care what you say. Getting a player on the line. Oh. Well. I did put a player on the line. <laughs> Didn't make a difference. That's some free kick. Damn, you're not going to stop that. did nearly hit it but it was just so pinpoint I do think free kicks are a bit overpowered I haven't had too many myself I did score one in some of the friendlies I was playing before I even started the Master League I, th I think it was maybe only my second free kick I've taken so a bit of beginner's luck but it must be relatively easy to score if you've got a good free kick taker the AI have scored at least two against me this season, including that one. Not much space here. Now Sanun. Just to let you know, he's actually signed a new contract. We're trying to time up for a longer deal and not to keep his... Well, kind of wanted to time down before his, uh, his salary is going to go up massively, you know, when he improves. Here's Vieira... Oh, ho, ho, ho. well, the free kick was good, but actually, no, the free kick was was really good. That was a close second. Put a bit more power into it than I sometimes do, but use the R2 button just to flow it. Just out of reach for the keeper. Not quite top corner. Brilliant finish, though. And uh, Giozo will be getting an assist. So you can see it's not right in the top corner. A good game though. I mean, yeah, I haven't got a clean sheet, which I'm disappointed with. But um, really enjoyed winning 6-0 in the last match. But you don't want that every every game. Um, now and again is great. But... Uh, don't want to be letting in any more goals, that's for certain. Sixy out. Yep, out wide to Arcas. 
Over here again. No Perez. Not much room. Nicely played. No Perez. Oh, yes. Again, curl and finish. Lovely one two by Vieira and Perez. I think he was, I mean, he was onside, but only just. If we'll have a look. Plays it back to Vieira here. I don't know, he was um, poor defending actually by number 16, whoever that is. Bit of lapse concentration, didn't um, step up as the other defenders did. Nice outside of the foot pass. Yeah, lovely curling finish. Perez with the benderoo, as the, uh, the pro Spartan gamer would say, if he's watching. He used to score many a good, uh, many a good curling shot in his uh, Master League career videos. Bajer, who hasn't been in the game too much, and that's a poor pass. I mean, centre midfield of all is certainly not his favourite. That's a yellow. Got to be careful now. I don't really think it was a terrible challenge. Now, free kick a lot further out, but... Yeah. You know... That wasn't too far over. That was well struck. Wonder what the stats are for Vidal in terms of free kick accuracy. For a minute, I was thinking I was the just because my keeper's in yellow. I was thinking, oh, I'll just pass it to him, as in the yellow, uh, the yellow player. Nope, that's not me. Anyway, here's Perez. Oh, lovely feet by Perez there. Now Bichet. Arcas, nice little one-two. Ah, uh, pass was not quick enough. It was slow, laboured pass. That was wonderfully worked until the last pass. Should have been a goal, really. One thing I've noticed, he's still got a way to go, but I think Xerxes improved physically, strength-wise. Now we hear it. That's a free kick. And it is. Have we got a chance of it? Oh, now. Vieira's free kick accuracy is not spectacular. He's the best on our team. Yeah, 76. And it's been a while since I've taken free kick, so. Ooh. Well, I aimed a little bit further left than I needed to. I, I think I always seem to do that. I think it's going to curl more than it does. The height was just about right. That wasn't a bad effort. So I have to remember next time, because I don't get free kicks that often, at least in that position. I have to remember next time to, to not aim as much. Aim as far wide. Nicely played from Perez there. Yours a well he flapped at that a bit the keeper, didn't he? Like a slap. Fiera thought about the shot. Bjer. Oh. Nicely struck. That's a poor throw out. Now Xerxes. Oh. Poor touch. Just ran underneath his foot. Now, don't get sloppy before half time. We are winning. There we go, half time. Really uh, interesting half, and it certainly wasn't all one way. Looking at the stats, you wouldn't think that though. 69% possession, good score against their 31. Four shots with three on target, and their two shots were both free kicks. 
and Fabio Vieira's got a goal and assist and I think you would have to say he's been our best player so far Carlos Perez has looked dangerous out wide he obviously got that goal but besides that he's um, yeah he's performed really well Bichet I think was a little bit poor in the first 20-25 minutes and then he sort of picked up a little bit We're asking him to play in position that he's not too comfortable with. Yeah, that's a free kick. That's definitely a free kick. Yeah, we're lucky we didn't get a yellow there. Well, it wasn't a terrible challenge, but... Zirksy pretty much by himself though. Nice ball out wide to Arcas. Just got to keep the ball for the minute until we get support. Nicely fired into Perez. Oof. That was a bit better passing. You know, firing it in rather than slow. Slow little passes. Oh my word, what a finish from Bjerg. We said he hadn't been playing that well, at least in the sort of first 25 minutes or so. He's absolutely lashed that one in. Nicely won from him, actually. I didn't realise that as well. Argus held onto the ball nicely. Great pass, and with his left, smashed it in. Brilliant. There's been some good goals in this game. This one was more power than anything. I think that's probably my favourite of our goals. I still think their free kick was uh, top tier. Just the fact that it was hit the underneath of the crossbar as well. I think it's always satisfying well when it hits the uh, the woodwork in some way when it goes in. Not the best ball by Arcas there. Left Xerxes with a lot of work to do. And we will be looking to make some changes, hopefully soon. That's a poor ball. Didn't expect that from Perez. That's poor defending. And that's going to be a foul, is it? No. I was trying to pass to Arcus there, believe it or not. I think I just pressed the uh, direction button incorrectly at the wrong... Just as I was about to pass. Nice ball. Ah, oh, nearly anyway. Arcas. Oh, just wide. Make some subs now, though. We're going to bring on Castledean for Fabio Vieira, Carlson for Perez, and Mihailov for Xerxes. Will be some of their last games, at least for Mihailov. Gotta think that Vieira is going to be man of the match today. Biggest turnaround is definitely Bouget. He's been uh, really good in the second half. Saline. Ooh, good tackle. Have nowhere room for error. Nicely played by Bouger. That's a terrible pass by Argas. And somehow I've got a free kick. Maybe Bouger was fouled just as he. Yeah, just as he played the ball. Got a bit of luck with that one. Not the best ball. Mihailov. <laughs> he went through that period, didn't he, where he had, what was it, four games? He came on as a sub and he scored five goals. He scored at least one in each one. 
Um, be nice for him to, to finish with a goal before he leaves the club. Born assist. Oh, good save. Strong hands there. Maybe made it look a little bit more spectacular than it needed to be. It was a decent ball, but it did hang in the air a bit, and they've got some good uh, defenders in the air. Here's Bichet looking a little bit tired now, well, very tired actually. Not sure how we lost out on that one. Uh, we could be in trouble, they don't have much support, but we don't have many players either. Oh, good tackle, but then got a bit unlucky. And again, we're not getting the run of the ball here. <laughs> so we're throwing in the end. Uh, what can we do? This potentially could be one of the last attacks of the game. Nicely played to Castledean. Now Carlson. Castledean. 4-1. Lovely play. I didn't think that was going to go in. Nicely placed. And the youngster coming off the bench. Getting a really nice goal. And Carlson getting an assist. Nice touch from Mihailov. Kasseldin out wide. Gets it back. So yeah, the three subs linking up really well. That nice turn. Simple finish. Get it on target. Get it low. Keeper couldn't get to it in time. And it's nice to see Castledean getting a goal because he he hasn't had much similar to uh, Harrington who did well in the last match. He hasn't had too much game time the odd time he's came off the bench. And it's it's hard once the game's at that stage to have a, a massive impact to get into the game properly. Is Argus on side here? I think he is. Keeps it in. And a lovely ball. Oh my word. Oh, that was close. That would have been a fantastic goal. But in the end, it's 4-1. Really good result. We fell behind him a fantastic free kick from Vidal. And in the end, we had 61% possession. So it dropped down a bit from the first half. But we played much better in the second. Better all-round game. Defensively, we were certainly better as well. And some really good ratings. Not surprised at all that Fabio Vieira got a 7.5. I am surprised at Xerxes only getting a 6. I thought he played well. Castledean getting a 7. That goal certainly uh, helped. But all of the subs combined for that goal. So I think them getting a decent rating was uh, well deserved. And looking at the stats for December. Surprise I've seen in there. You might see it straight away. But we've won 6 matches. Which is fantastic for a start. And as you can see on the right hand side. Okay, well, we only had two clean sheets, which is a little bit disappointing, but, you know, only letting in one goal in those matches, and we've won fairly comfortably. Goal scoring-wise, Carlos Perez, top. I wouldn't say I'm massively surprised that he's in the top three, but I didn't expect him to be top. Xerxes, our striker, getting five, and Mihailov getting those four goals as a sub, which is brilliant. But my big surprise was Harrington has got five assists. Don't know where that's come from. I know he had one really good match. But, you know, it wasn't five assists, that's for certain. I think he might have got two. You know, those substitute appearances he's been making, he must have been getting the odd assist here and then. I just haven't noticed that much. Vieira and Xerxes getting assists as well, not surprised. And the average rating Xerxes top, Carlos Perez second. I am surprised Argos was third, because I think sometimes he's he's just left in that left wing position. I don't know, it's, it's not certainly by no means his favourite position. He should really be like an attacking midfielder or a second striker. But he does a job out there, and maybe I don't realise how much of a good job he has been doing. And looking at the average stats, our average possession is 60%. Not surprised with that, but that is brilliant. Shots on target of just over 14. Sorry, shots uh, of 14 on target on 9, compared to just 1.2 and 0.8 for the opposition. Passes is just under 130 every game. I think the opposition are normally 
around about 70 or 80. We're normally quite well ahead of those. And just looking at some of the other stats there, the likes of Dribbling, Bjer, Vieira, Carlos Perez, really not surprised with them being the some of the most successful and highly attempted dribbles. And a Kim, Bjer and Vieira, top of those. Herrera's passing, though, 97%. His dribbling is 93%. He's, I think he's a little bit of a unsung hero for ourselves. He does the job. He sits in that defensive midfielder role most of the time, or that centre midfielder role. And he often just keeps the midfield ticking, plays it on Vieira, plays it onto Perez, for example, let them do the, the most of the attack and work. And just looking at shooting, Mihailo, four out of seven for shots and successes, just from that golden period he had where he was coming on as a sub and just smashing everything in. Just to let you know, we have brought in one of our youth players, Teixeira, who's traditionally a left back, but he can play at centre back as well. And you can see that our squad's looking a little bit bare. So we have made some offers for some players. I'm not going to say exactly who now. We'll have to see that in the next episode, see if any is successful or not. Once the replies come back, I'll show you who we've been bidding for. Hopefully one, of the, one or two of them may take a bite and at least not flat out decline it. We've went in for some young players, some of them are relatively well known, some of them not. I'm really hoping that we can get maybe one or two of them across the board. Even one will be good, and then maybe some youth players from the youth squad, depending who we get in. We'll have to wait and see. But join me in the next episode where we are away to Lugo. Hopefully there'll be some transfer updates as well. So I'll see you then. Take care of yourselves. Cheers.